Hi, this is Brian Wilson, part of the BFW Classroom, and today we're going to look at how to use text to image to generate classroom posters and graphics. So, here we actually have a set of poster images that have already been created. What I did was I took an excerpt from Theodore Roosevelt's New National Speech, which is part of the Social Studies curriculum in the state of Kentucky, and then developed a poster prompt for students to work through. So what you do is I have three images down the side. This section of the actual speech concentrates on his conservationism philosophy. And I wanted students to actually put pictures in there of different parks. One of the best parks about uh, best parts about text to image is that if you type in Smoky Mountains National Park, it might give you an image, but it works better if students research the type of park that they're looking for. So this can be a great way to teach image generation or prompt generation for any student in any classes. So the students have to create three independent images using the same kind of style, which with this one I used low poly, but they could do any other styling if you wanted to, uh, layered paper or anything as you click through. But they have to pick different parks. Now for me, when I started this one, I said these three different parks. I intentionally picked this one for Cascades and asked the students to look up a picture, knowing that they'll find a picture that actually doesn't show mountains that are dry. The Cascades actually typically have snow-capped mountains. So to show them that you can have different choices or to go through and pick a different choice that's a better description of the original piece. Now you might be wondering, why not just go ahead and ask students to pick uh, photographs from online? You can, but that doesn't teach them the elements of image prompting. So this one right here, which is the Everglades, is probably the most difficult one. For some reason with the image prompting, it wanted to create this uh, graphic that included some different things that aren't necessarily part of the park itself, the national park. So you have to go through and sort of uh, walk the image generator through exactly what you want it to be. It needs to be something specific. So here I included saying that it was Florida Swamp because I didn't want it to give me um, mangroves or um, something else similar to like Louisiana Swampland. And I wanted it to be grassy. I wanted it to be wet. And so here you get some more of those kinds of pieces of those like grass wetlands sort of deal. Um, now I will say this, it does have the mountains in the background, which are kind of there. I did like this one, but I would talk to students and remind them that sometimes you just have to work the image until you get one you want. Again, all the images in this one were created using Adobe Firefly, which is the text -to image generator in Adobe Express. And I just wanted to thank you for watching. If you would, hit subscribe by clicking the icon there on the left or check out one of these videos on the right that might help you with some other projects in your classroom. Again, hope you enjoyed. And this is Brian Wilson with BFW Classroom.